Well, tonight, local leaders in Oceanside debated a flag policy. Residents in the North County City have raised concerns over which flag should be flown at city buildings, if any at all. Our Kasha Gregorczyk is joining us live with more on a vote that's expected any minute now. Kasha. Yeah, Kathleen, at this hour, we are listening to council members discussing the intention behind bringing up this policy and which way they may vote. But we have not yet uh, received their final vote on this. But we do want to mention similar flag discussions have happened across the county in the last year. And though they are not typically explicitly about the pride flag, a lot of the opposition to these policies has come from the LGBTQ community. The American flag is a good representation for all Americans. If you think you need more, you're narcissistic and maybe you're not American at all. This is divisive and it should not happen. Strong opinions both for and against a proposed flag policy in the city of Oceanside. I now ask you to demonstrate your commitment to human rights and the sanctity of all life. After the city received a request to display a sanctity of life flag during the month of January, which is a pro-life symbol, council members Rick Robinson and Peter Weiss proposed an official policy about what flags should be flown over City Hall. The policy suggests Oceanside should only fly four flags, the United States flag, California, Oceanside, and the POW MIA flag. By displaying anything but the flags that unite us all, this causes division and opens up a slippery slope for any organization to come along and display flags. The topic, polarizing for many in the LGBTQ community who have felt like similar policies throughout the county have been a pathway to prevent the pride flag from being flown. Where the pride flag, a symbol of civil rights for a protected class under the federal government, is likened to a pet flag, a Nazi flag, and the Santa of life flag. Please tell our constituents the reason why diversity and inclusion doesn't matter when you all vote on a policy that infringes on my civil rights by not flying the rainbow flag during Pride Month. Meantime, the majority of people in favor of the policy argue the message of the flag suggested is inclusion. We should respect and rally around our government institutions and government flags are a symbol of that unity. Flag displays by third party groups are not appropriate on government buildings. And we did just listen to council member Rick Robinson, who suggested this policy address the room here at city council, uh, just kind of clarifying again that his intention behind bringing up this policy did not have anything to do with the pride flag. It was that sanctity of life flag that was proposed to fly in the month of January. And as of right now, Oceanside doesn't have a policy to fly any other flags be besides the four that we mentioned in the story. So that is kind of where this came from. At this hour, we don't know where it's going, but certainly we will see how council decides to vote on this and bring you the very latest as soon as we know. For now, we're live in Oceanside. Kasia Gregorczyk, Fox 5 News. All right.